Say it. Swear to me! Oh, sorry. Vampire. Are you afraid? Holy crap, pause it. I just figured out the problem with Edward. Uh-oh. He courts Bella the way Batman terrifies criminals. <laughs> Welcome to Cinema Therapy. I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> I thought this would be about relationships in Twilight, but like this is actually about dealing with my own trauma. That's what this episode is right now. Twilight. Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing. Like anyone can watch this and like pick stuff out, but to me, this is nails on a blackboard. I'm Jonathan Decker, licensed therapist. He's uh, Alan Seawright, unlicensed filmmaker, and huge douchebag today, because I'm supposed to be his friend. Let's do this thing. You were next to your car, across the lot. No, I wasn't. <sighs> so yeah, he's gaslighting yes, you her. You were. Mm-hmm. Making her question her judgment. You, know, you, uh, you hit your head. I think you're confused. Making her think she's I know crazy. What I saw. Mm, what exactly was that? Getting you, angry. You stopped the van. You pushed it away with your hand. Well, nobody's gonna believe you. <laughs> so I have to say, because this is not I my line, from the riff tracks we were talking about, right there they say, quoting directly from the abusive guy's handbook there. <laughs> well, nobody's gonna believe you. Yeah. It's, tell it's deeply abusive. I just need to know the truth. Can't you just thank me and get over it? Thank you. You're not gonna let this go, are you? No. Well, then I hope you enjoy disappointment. Yeah. Can't you just I thank... I love you so much. Can't you just thank me and get over it? Like, he is... We're doing this my way. Yeah. You do not have a say in this relationship. You don't get to And this is this is a theme. And this is honestly... I talked with you about... Well, before we started filming, the last film is the only one that I actually just enjoy. Like, it's not good, but it's enjoyable because stuff happens and there's violence. <laughs> But also because Bella, when she becomes a vampire... Suddenly stops, has agency? Suddenly has free will and stops yeah. taking crap from people. And I'm like, oh... Because it's just so hard to watch a protagonist be held up like as some, someone to follow who has no free will. The only decision that she makes the entire series of books, basically, until the very end, is, I'm going to love Edward no matter what anyone says. And it's a messed up message. It's like, if you get married then you will have free will, but not before. Yeah. Your only free will before is to choose which of the pretty boys who likes you, you want to be with. That's it. Yep. I mean, it, it is so it's, Aladdin where Jasmine says, I am not a prize to be won, except for Bella is saying, exactly. I am exactly, that's all I am. <laughs> I am a trophy. Put me in a bookshelf. <sighs> okay. I feel very protective of you. Possessive. And yeah, this is trying to be cute so and to say me. that, but... I was trying to keep a distance unless you needed my help, and then... You're a stalker. I heard what those yeah. lowlifes were thinking. Wait. <laughs> Hang on, so let's, let's, pause, let's consider this for a moment. Because on the surface, he's, he's protective of her, so I guess that's romantic. But he's protective of her without her consent. Right. And he follows her... And the idea is, I'm going to hang back unless you need me. Now, let's take this out of the fantastical situation and put it in the real world. If someone were interested in you, followed you without your consent, watches you wherever you go, and just hangs back... And makes the decision not on your account, but just for themselves, yeah. oh, now you need me. In case you need me. He's like, you know what he is? He's like in any TV show where they've got a sniper on the roof. Mm -hmm. Killer. Except for nobody asked him to be there. Yeah. Right? In case the deal goes He's south. He's got no government oversight. Right, he's got no... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Keep going. You read minds. I can read every mind in this room. Apart from yours. Again, I don't... Is there something wrong with me? 
See, I tell you I can read minds, and you think there's something wrong with you. <laughs> okay, that to me encapsulates everything that's wrong with Bella as a character. This is gonna be a doohickey. What? I, I have identified a problem with you. Is it my fault? Is what she's saying here. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah, holy cow. Th I see There's that. something wrong with you. Is it that my I fault? have identified? How is it my fault? I must have caused this. Ooh, I feel really icky all of a sudden, like really gross. And teenage girls and soccer moms identify with this apparently in the millions. Once again, if it's your junk food entertainment, not judging. Just, just awesome. But rock like, on. Don't, not healthy relationships, right? And the only reason I, we're addressing women right now is because women were the ones who, by and large, ate this up. Because we could definitely address so many oh, movies. We're going to have a lot of horrible relationship, toxic masculinity. So many. Garbage. We're going to talk about it. Don't worry. We're getting there. So many ideas about relationships that guys have that are messed up. Starting at some point with uh, James oh. Bond. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Say it. Out loud. Once again, telling her what to do. Yep. Say it. Swear to me! Oh, sorry. Vampire. Are you afraid? Holy crap, pause it. I just figured out the problem with Edward. Uh-oh. He courts Bella the way Batman terrifies criminals. <laughs> Well, Robert Pattinson no. is going to play Batman, so... <laughs> okay, so look at this. He sneaks up behind her. Where are you? Here. He's like, he's like right behind her, creeping her out. He's like, say it. Say it. Where to me? I, and then how he just like hangs back in case people need help. Ah! He just lurks in the shadows. In case people need his help. Like, everything about Edward is Batman. He's, he's Batman as a boyfriend. So Robert Pattinson as Batman is actually a pretty dang good idea. It's the best casting ever. <laughs> Crap. Oh, and now he's about to... He's about to swoop her up the way Batman, like, grabs criminals and zip lines away with them. Nice go. Can we talk about how... As if you could fight me off. How... Okay, okay, time out. <clears throat> so he himself is saying, Red, I am a giant red flag, don't date me. Yep. And he's also telling her, and I quote, as if you could outrun me, as if you could fight me off. So, I mean, I get it, like, the whole, the whole concept of this is he loves her so much that he exercises self-control, right? But how dangerous a concept is that? I literally cannot think of a worse message to give to young people about what relationships are. I once had, I once had a client, and I actually share this story, I have her permission to share this story, and I okay. won't give away any identifying details. She had a boyfriend who was now in prison for abusing her. Wow. Well, he was, well, actually, he was in prison, in prison for a lot of things. That was just part of the tab. Um, but I said to her, I'm like, and, and at this point, actually, I do want to get serious because this is, I mean, we're having fun with Twilight, but like, abuse is no joke. Like, it's a real thing. Yeah. I said, did you see any red flags when you started dating him? And she said, he was awful to everybody. He was rude. He was condescending. He would have, he had an explosive temper with people. And I said, well, was he that way towards you? She says, no, he was really sweet to me, and I thought I brought out the best in him. And I said to her, like, didn't you ever think that that was going to spill over onto you? And I kid you not. She thought she was going to fix him for everyone else? Yeah, because there was good in him, and she was going to bring it out. Right. So I'm going to tell everybody watching this right here, right now, when it comes to dating, you don't want to fix her upper. No. 
like, okay, we all have rough edges. We all have things to work on. Like, we can, we all grow. Like, I'm definitely a better person because of my marriage. I know you've oh, told yeah. me the same thing. Like, but the biggest myth is that good people are vanilla. Oh, yeah. And, and that, you know, and we see it in so many movies, like, there's the guy on the side, so many romantic comedies, the guy on the side who's a good guy, but he's just boring, and the bad boy who's going to change all these years of awful behavior because he found the right woman. Yep. Right? It's a myth. It's not true. No, it's a compelling story to w watch a movie about. It is. That's fun. So once again, watch movies with your brain turned on. Like, if, if you want to watch... I, I love romantic comedies. Sure. They're not real life. No. Anymore, like, I remember I got in a, my first fight, like, my first real fight in middle school, and I was disappointed that when we punched each other, they didn't sound like the punches in Indiana Jones. No, it's like these wet little slappy sounds. <laughs> the reason is because movies aren't real. Shut your eyes, Mary, and don't look at it no matter what happens. And so and it's like, well, does that crush the whole premise of cinema therapy? No, because sometimes screenwriters actually tap into reality, how real relationships work, how real emotions work, and we can use that as an example. And when they get it terribly wrong, we can also use that as an example of just n no. Just There's not. nothing more attractive than being in a relationship with somebody who will be faithful, who will be true, who will be honest, and who you never have to worry about them doing something that's going to be awful yeah. or if what they're telling you is real. Well, and that as, you know, somebody who I dated a lot before I got married, and I can tell you the adrenaline rush is real. Like getting together with somebody who is dangerous and fun and you have tons of sexual chemistry and it's just, ah, like electric. It is a blast. It is amazing. And it lasts for a couple of weeks, Yeah. generally speaking. It's, just, it's not a long-term thing. And then it gets real bad afterwards. When you are together with someone who is much more... Grounded, stable. Grounded, stable, vanilla. Either A, it's going to work out, it's just going to work out. Or B, when it doesn't work out, it's not going to burn your house down, not work out. <laughs> it's going to... Be like, oh, I'm sad. I'm alone on yeah. a Friday, and I kind of miss what's her face. Yeah, it's it's not the end of the world. When you have a breakup with, with you know, Danger Boy, it can be dangerous, especially for women. If you are dating a dangerous guy and you need to get away from him, males statistically will hurt you or murder you at a much higher rate. Yeah, it's it's bad. Stay away from that. So not worth the risk to be in a relationship with someone that you know is bad news. What if we change the, our definition of vanilla though from bland to base? Because think of vanilla ice cream. Think of all the stuff you can do if you start with vanilla oh, ice dude, cream. Little French vanilla ice cream just by itself is good. But like think of all that you can do with vanilla like to turn it into this incredible oh, Sunday, sure. right? So anyways. That with Rocky Road. Try to make a Sunday out of Rocky Road. You'll be disappointed. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm designed to kill. I don't care. Why? <laughs> I've killed people before. Run! It doesn't matter. Why? I am a murderer. Fine. <laughs> Fine. I wanted You're... to kill you. <laughs> I've never wanted a human's blood so much in my life. But you're pretty. I trust you. Why? Why? Don't. Exactly. Even he knows. I'm here, I trust you. You idiot. <sighs> My family, we're different from others of our kind. We only hunt animals. We learn to control our thirst. Okay, time. It's you. So I want to stress something. Now he's choosing to explain why he's safe to her. But she didn't care when she, she knew he was a murderer. Yep. Like, if he had started early on, oh, I'm a vampire, but I've got it I'm under a control. I'm a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian, here's what I, and I've been, spent 100, 100 years crafting and perfecting this. Oh, look, if you go on a date with somebody, and on the first or second date, they say, hey, I'm in AA, I don't drink. I can't drink because I had a problem. Yeah. Great! It's a great parallel. That's fine. Because they're upfront about it, and then you know, oh, okay, well, I gotta stay away from that, I guess. But what if you're you meet somebody and they're constantly like throwing liquor bottles at the wall and screaming and turning over furniture, uh -huh. and you fall in love with that, and then they say, well, since I can trust you because you're still here, I'm in AA. <laughs> it makes no freaking sense. It makes no sense. 
<laughs> and it's literally lust. It is teenage lust. It is like lit- I cannot think of a single other motivator. Lust is not love. Attraction doesn't mean it's right. Like chemistry is not the only factor at play here. This is not a healthy relationship. But it's you. Your scent. It's like a drug to me. Yeah, red flag. I like my own personal brand of heroin. Red flag, red flag. Red People flag. are usually more excited about heroin though. It is more exciting than that. He is Why Eeyoreing his so way through the script. You <laughs> did. I'm a vampire. Me want you Try so not bad. to kill you. Thanks for noticing I me. I still don't know if I can control myself. It's more constipated than Eeyore, though. He's got I that constipated grimace. Go for it, Bella! Throw caution to the wind! Get it! Get it! <laughs> I can't read your mind. So you have Good to thing. Tell me what you're thinking. Oh my gosh. You have to tell me what you're thinking. Yeah. It's all orders. And I'm trapping you, but you're liking it because screenplay. The masochist look lying. Very okay, what did they just say? Can you back it up a bit? I feel like that was important. It's actually more enjoyable this way. Because if you watch it backwards, then she's moving she's further moving away, away from him. She's leaving him. <laughs> that is... <laughs> we just figured out how to watch Twilight. <laughs> it's, it's a story of a terrible teenage couple who slowly breaks up. <laughs> And Bella achieves liberation. Oh, and so the lion fell in love with the lamb, is what he says. Huh. What a stupid lamb. What a stupid what a lamb. Sick, masochistic lion. Okay, so hang on. I want to say something. At this I don't know moment, who's the lion and who's the lamb in this? She's scenario. the lion. He's the lamb. And and this is where they would actually be excellent at cinema therapy because they actually show self awareness here. She says, "Stupid lamb," and you and me, and I are like, "Yep." And he says, "Sick, masochistic lion." Yep. At least they've identified. They have correctly diagnosed themselves. Yes, they have. I can't dance. <laughs> hmm. Well, I could always make you. Red flag? I'm not Better. scared of you. Why? I think she's saying it to convince herself now. I think she's actually I starting <laughs> to cue in. <laughs> She's turned to cue into her own internal warning system here. I've willfully suppressed a lot of this movie. How did you get in here? The window. Mm-hmm. Do you do that a lot? Um, just the past couple of months. <laughs> just a couple of months. That's all. Just. I, I like watching you sleep. It's um. It's kind of fascinating to me. Okay. Uh, okay. If you're in a committed relationship with somebody and you can't sleep, but they're sleeping and you're watching them sleep because you love them, fine. You snuck into her room and watched her sleep without her consent. So three words, life-changing words, words to live by. Consent is key. It's a big deal. Consent is key. In fairness, he knew she'd be cool with it because she's cool with literally anything. With literally anything he does. I'm alive because of you. No, you're in here because of me. Yes. The worst part of it was that I thought I wasn't going to be able to stop. You did stop. Well, you got to go to Jacksonville, so I can't hurt you anymore. Or you could leave, Edward. You're immortal. It's not like you need your family to yeah. feed you. you like, could... no. you s- no. 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 How... I don't even know what you're saying. How? What are you? What are you talking about? You? You want me to go away? I. I, I can't. No. I. I can't. I can't just. I'm, leave. I am. That was a lot, that Kristen. Was a lot. That was not the take you use <laughs> in the edit. No. Thank you. You know there were better takes. There were better takes than that. <laughs> like a malfunctioning android, just like. <laughs> but just this, like. They've become codependent at this point, right? Yeah, they really have. And that, I mean, that's really bad. (laughs) I don't know a lot about relationships, but I know that codependency is a very bad thing. Look, uh, we're going to do a Jerry Maguire episode sometime, but I'll say this now. The idea of you complete me 
is romantic, but it's actually unhealthy. It's, oh, it's terrible. You supplement me sounds far less romantic, but it's actually indicative of a healthy relationship. Like, I'm okay without you. I will survive and I can have a fulfilling life, but I choose to share it with you and I want you here with me. Like, that's a healthy relationship. Well, you know what supplements are good for? Gains, bro. <laughs> relationship gains. get them gains. Ha- hashtag swole mates. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God in heaven. Edward, why did you save me? You just let the venom spread. How many times are we going to ask this? I could be like you right now. Again, it's the end of the film and they're still trying to figure out what their relationship is. I don't know what you're saying. You don't want this. I want you. Always. (laughs) No, no, you don't know what you want. Edward knows what you want. Edward knows what you want. I'm not going to end your life, Heath. I'm dying. Already. I've been dying a little bit each day since you came back into my life. This is Anakin and Padme levels right here. It's so emo. I'm haunted by the kiss that you should never have given me. Lighting's nice on this scene, I'll give him that. Very, oh, it's beautifully shot. This scene is fantastic. As far as like romantic dances at a prom goes, Mm -hmm. this is one of the top shot ones of all time. It's great. And it's the only time that they don't look blue, right? Like they look blue the whole movie. Well, there's a blue filter over everything to make it seem all cloudy and forksy up in Forks for the entire film. <sighs> but also, they're, it's warm now because they're in love and they acknowledge it and they're going to be together. Well, you know, good for them. So big takeaways sure. from Twilight. I mean, I think we've hit them all numerous times, but don't see this as a relationship playbook. Yeah, this is not, this is not what you want out no. of a relationship. No. You don't want this. Okay, so let's, let's see, what, what is redeemable? Like, are there good messages from this? Look, okay, here's something, here's okay, something. Okay, go for it. Um, in a healthy relationship, you actually do want to put building the relationship before getting physically involved. Sure. When it comes to Twilight, the one thing that is good about this relationship, I will give them that, even if the specific form it takes is not healthy, is the concept of, we're going to forego our physical relationship to take time to develop an actual relationship so we can see if this is real, right? It's not a virtue or chastity thing. The research actually doesn't say wait for marriage. If you're a wait for marriage person, that's fine. But the research says wait until you're in a healthy, committed relationship that you've had time to develop, right? right? And so when it comes to becoming physically involved, you actually do want to slow it down. Stop it! to see if it's real, to see if this person is who you think they are, and to see if you're actually, can not just have chemistry, but can have friendship. Because at the end, like a healthy relationship really is a friends with Benny's situation. It's like the ultimate friends with Benny's situation. So can we be truly friends? And here's Edward's like, (laughs) he tells her repeatedly, we can't be friends, I don't think we should be friends, and I will kill you. And she's like, but love. (laughs) So this is Twilight, we are gonna have, I'm actually, this is cathartic. We're going to do this with all of them. I am very much looking forward to the next four films in this series, which we will get to <laughs> over time. I th- this is too exhausting to do one every time, I think. No, no, it won't we'll, be. It'll take a while, but we're going to get to all four of them. We'll probably do some, some more in-depth breakdowns of Team Edward versus Team Jacob. Oh, yeah. Or we'll team, get team Nope. We haven't even touched team Jacob nope. yet, and neither has Bella. <laughs> so, as always, like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Please tell your friends if you like what we're doing because we're trying to start a revolution to help people have healthy relationships, happy lives, and do it in a really fun, cool way. Yep. What else do we want? What are other calls to action? If you would like to schedule a 15 minute consultation for free with this fine young gentleman right here, you can do that. There's a link below. Check out our social medias. It's at therapy underscore cinema on all of our socials. And if for some reason you actually want to buy the Twilight films or books, may God have mercy on your soul, but we're including the links down below anyways. Also links for how to avoid falling in love with a jerk as kind of a palate cleanser after you go through Twilight. Man, I'm being really mean right now. Twilight fans, we love you. We just gotta say how we feel. And I'm actually gonna, we'll include a link. I have an article um, about avoiding abusive relationships and building good ones, and we'll put that down there. You can read that article just for your own illumination. All right, and as always, Stay connected, stay classy, and watch watch movies. movies.